Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and uh, let's take a look in on the African Nightcrawlers and see what they are up to. I'm seeing a lot of condensation on the lid, so I think I might be happy that I did not add more water to the system when it was getting very uh, dry. So let's let's see what they've been doing while we've been gone. It's been a little over a week. See what they're doing. Doesn't feel warm, but they're gonna get huge feeding today. Oh, let's see. We got a pocket of worms in this corner. Let's see. This is actually a little warm down here. What did I feed them last time? I need to start watching my videos before I make the next one, because otherwise I don't remember what the heck happened. All right. So let's let's see what they're congregating around over here. Doesn't look like it's much of anything except for a big ball of what is that? Oh, maybe it's a piece of bread or something. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like more bread. There should still be corn in here somewhere. Let me see if I can move everything over. Like I said, it's a little warm in the middle. It's the corn. Whatever was around the corn is picking up a little heat. Oh, yeah, that's right. Wait, I did have a deconstructed thing of uh, loaf of bread. That's what it was. And let's see, another avocado pit. All right. Well, I'm not I'm going to keep turning things over here. See what there is going on. But it looks like the the bread is doing what it normally does. Uh if you don't keep it wet enough. So, yeah, I'm glad I looked in on this a little bit earlier. Normally I wait um 2 weeks. Let's see, if you're paying attention, this was very new looking before and very sharp, and now the the leaves are starting to get broke down. Should be nothing but sticks here pretty soon. And I'm getting a big wad of the same thing. There it is. I do try and keep it all together because otherwise it commingles and makes trouble with the consistency of the bin. So if I'm going to keep doing the harvest about once a month, next week should in theory be the harvest for the next portion of it. So I want to make sure that I've got everything really well fluffed and really well fed in order to keep the worms in the top so they don't come out with the harvest. So I do have a huge feeding today. And still feel like there's something else squishy in here. No, more avocado seeds. Hmm. Well, it must have been just the bread in that one corner pocket. More corn. That's definitely making some good progress now. Looks like some cocoa peat. So they're doing a good job with the bedding. The corn is, oop, I love that. You bust it open and you see a worm. Hopefully it didn't hurt any worms. Okay, one more corner, oop. Kinda looks like I was breaking up a worm ball. Don't remember what that would have been though in that corner. Yeah, the ba the bag is just about on the range of too tall for me to reach into it very deep. 
Yeah, there must have been something tasty. Some of the bread that stayed extra moist. All right. Well, let me flatten things out here and dig a pit for the new food. Make sure I'm getting everything properly fluffed. Corn. I want to make sure that this feeding is going to be well covered. It has a lot of cabbage and somewhat forbidden foods. Um, now that I'm doing some of the share waste stuff, I am getting some interesting things. And I think I've got some leftovers from Taco Bell and even like a Mediterranean salad. So here we go. Uh, looks like it might have been tabbouleh salad and then some of my normal food scraps as well. Still partially frozen. And the dogs are mucking about. Alright, so there you can see the, the broccoli slaw, which I never seem to get to the bottom of the bag without, um, unfortunately, losing some of it. But, you know, it's a cycle of life with uh, the refrigerator, isn't it? <laughs> so, let me try and get everything back where it was. And uh, hopefully, the next video will be another harvest. And we can see what kind of progress that we're making normalizing the, uh, the harvest. Last time it was unfinished stuff in the bottom, so hopefully this time it will be finished stuff in the bottom. Fingers crossed. Um, this system is a little bit di different configuration than what I've had in the past, so uh, I don't know exactly what to expect. So we'll see. Alright. Well, that is all for the Vermi Bag Low Mammoth with the African Nightcrawlers. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my warm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.